Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we skipped Easter. I don't remember celebrating that holiday at all. I don't even remember it passing. Life is hitting hard. You know what? Now that he mentioned it, I don't even remember celebrating. Hell, I don't even remember celebrating too many other holidays this year. I think like the 4th of July and Juneteenth, maybe, yeah. But damn. Yeah, yeah, we in some rough times. What the hell? Somebody. Tell me they're joking. Tell me it's not true. Where the hell did you come up with $700 million? You told the American people that you don't have enough money to help them. They've lost their homes in these hurricanes, and all you want to do is give us $750. And you want it to be alone. And if we don't pay you back, you're going to take the only piece of land that we still own. And you said not to worry about it because you hired 85,000 IRS agents to make sure you get it back out of our ass. You son of a bitch. When? Will you take care of your own people? When? We're fucking tired of it, man. But you know what, though? We never gonna get nowhere because we always on social media talking about it. Yes, it's good to make people aware, man. But if we not doing nothing about it outside of that, nothing is getting done. <laughs> so what are the american people supposed to get to defend themselves from these natural disasters or to at least help them with relief Now, I'm going to have to mute this because the last, and it's crazy because it's all the news networks that Trump always speak of, ABC, CBS, NBC, all of them, they had my last video demonetized. The video before this one they had demonetized and i don't want to risk getting demonetized on this one so i'm going to mute this video and you're just going to have to like read the captions but just to let y'all know health correspondent nancy cordes from war on this nancy good to see you so we know when it comes to military aid obviously what's not in it is just as important as what is in it but can you give us an idea of what is included in the 700 million dollar weapons package the u.s is sending to ukraine Hey, Tanya. Hi, Earl. Yes, I sure can. Uh, so this latest package would include Javelin anti-tank weapon systems, some helicopters, some tactical weapons, and most importantly, as you heard there from uh, the Secretary of State, a small number of high-tech, medium-range rocket systems that have a reach of about 50 miles or so. And the reason that's so pivotal is that uh, right now the Ukrainians are fighting most fiercely in some areas that are controlled by Russians, and the only way they can really uh, hope to fight back against the Russians is by firing rockets from outside that territory, particularly in the Donbass region. And so that's why they have been asking for these medium to long range weapon systems. You heard the president on Monday say uh, that he wasn't going to give the Ukrainians any kind of weapon system that has the capability to strike uh, Russian territory over the border actually in Russia. Uh, the, the problem with that statement is that any weapon system can strike into Russian territory if you get close enough to the border. So that created a little bit of confusion. And we now know a couple of days later that the Ukrainians are going to get those medium range weapon systems they've been looking for. That's it's crazy how they can pull money clean out of their butts to give to them. But then when it comes to us, $700, no, 750 
<laughs> but if this don't make Russia go ahead and send them missiles over here to us, I don't know what will. Because, like, why? If Ukraine is losing the war, just lose, bro. Just lose. Take your L and keep it pushing. But no, the U.S. I don't know what the U.S. is trying to do. What are they trying to keep them in the game for? I digress. Peter Ducey here outside the West Wing of the White House, <coughs> where this week, one of my questions about foreign aid versus hurricane relief was called misinformation. President Biden is fond of saying, show me your budget and I will tell you what you value. If he's got money for people in Lebanon right now without Congress having to come back, what does it say about his values? There is not enough money right now for his people values, in North Carolina. His... That's not misinformation. Wait, no, that is, we, your, whole, your whole premise of the question is misinformation, sir. What you don't, yes, yes, Which it's part? misinformation. I've got the information right here. The vice president is posting on social media about $157 million in additional assistance to the people of Lebanon. President Biden is posting about how the Small Business Administration's disaster loan program is gonna run out of funding if Congress does not come back. To a lot of people watching these briefings, a taxpayer dollar is a taxpayer dollar is a taxpayer dollar. That is not misinformation, that is a fact. Yeah. This is going to change some lives, y'all. Change some lives. That's crazy. Like, but what's the point of flying inside of it? Like, so that, that literally would mean that the inside of it, which ain't that's the part they call the eye, right? Or is it the wall of the eye? Because if they can fly inside of the eye of the hurricane, then that would prove that it's not dangerous, right? This is going to be great. This is going to be great. So ridiculous. You realize that, right? No, it's not. Fuck Trump. That's what I said. I know, but I hate Trump too, Chad. But you don't see me out here destroying property. It's probably illegal. You know what? You know what's a fucking crime to have a fucking Trump hand sign oh my God. in the main line. <gasps> I can't believe it. Just <laughs> down. What's wrong with you? Oh, what is that? Oh my God. Uh, what is that? <laughs> oh my God. How you gonna call them an a-hole and you were an a-hole for running over their sign? They just did that because they knew that people like you exist. Don't tell me you got a flat. Oh. <laughs> got asked about the hurricane and would you li she unveils a new Jamaican accent among other problems here. Listen. I've talked to governors of both parties who are working in a bipartisan way to get the aid to people on the ground. And um, and I'm going to continue to do that work. Camp are doing what's right Correct. for the people they are. state. They are. They are. And they should be tremendous. It's not a manipulation. is a, 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 a cynical and corrupt look, uh, and luxury that people are It's crude. It, it, have you no empathy, man? You know, I, for <laughs> the, the suffering of other people. Have you no empathy, man? Yeah. 
Pass the ganj. It doesn't matter. She tries a new one out every week. We, it's like, really, it is like going to Epcot with Kamala Harris. You hear a new culture or accent debuted every other week. Have you been getting a special sticker in school? He said, yes, mommy, I get a special sticker. I said, what does the sticker look like? He said, I get it right here on my hand. And it has the storms with the clouds and the stars and the moon. And so I said, well, when do you get it? He said, we get it. And after we get it, I go and sit down. And then after that, we go and we go for our net. Spring ISD parents are pushing for criminal charges after they say teachers gave sleeping aids to their children. Two Northgate Crossing Elementary School teachers, they have been removed now from class and placed on administrative leave as police investigate the allegations. Parents want to know how long this was going on. We've been doing this to our kids. They ain't no telling what, what the side effects are from in the long run. My trust was broken by this teacher that we've opened our hearts to. So that's how these teachers are getting by, putting sleeping patches on these babies. I better check on your kids. This is life in the big city. The dog, the dog. Dog, hi puppy. The dog. Oh, oh, puppy. Oh, puppy. Bless your little puppy heart. Can you help me? Oh, 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 o
dot, dot, dot. If she signed anything into law as Kamala Harris, dot, dot, dot. If you didn't know her real name is Kamala Hoff and you are about to vote for her, then you are why America is exactly where it is today. Now, what kind of man lets his wife use her maiden name for monetary gain? They need the black vote. Have you ever met a black person with the last name Hoff? Me either, but we need your vote, so Harris it is. All of your information on government documents has to be correct. Otherwise, that document is null and void. If the presidential ballot has Kamala Harris for you to vote for, it is mm, 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 because her name is Kamala Hoff. Once the name changes there, it becomes law. Harris is no longer an entity. Are you understanding? Might be some truth to that. Legally, that's how it's supposed to go, by law. But we already know the G word is corrupt. So who says they're doing anything by the law? Let me get this straight. The Savannah got rain. South Africa is getting snow. Milton broke category five records. There is another hurricane brewing in the Atlantic on a crash course to England. Wyoming's on fire. Mexico's underwater. And I'm still expected to go to my nine to five. My brother in Christ, the world is actively ending. Money's not real. Let me go buy a plot of land, grow tomatoes, fail, and then die of starvation in peace. Really truly think that our government thinks that Americans are stupid. Like, I mean, like really, really stupid. And that we do not research, that we don't look into things, that we just accept whatever it is that they give us and be okay with it. Because how many people are actually going to the federal register and checking out the executive orders that our presidents have signed and the ones that they have also revoked? Because until today, I was under the impression that a lot of things that were signed as executive orders by Biden were his. And I was also not aware that a lot of executive orders that Trump signed when he was in office that really benefited our country, that benefited minorities, that benefited women, that benefited protection of our children and our border, were not only signed into law by him, but were revoked by Biden soon as he got in office. And I'm talking about as soon as January 20th. Perfect example. I remember how Biden was always talking about how he is the one who lowered prescription costs and the cap on insulin. That was false. Trump did that first. Let me just make that clear. He also signed an executive order that we have something called safe policing for safe Americans that was not only supposed to make sure that the police were doing their fucking job, but that they were held accountable if they were doing more than they were supposed to do when it comes to, you know, uh, racially profiling people, abusing their powers as police officers, that they were held accountable if they did those things. He revoked that law. He revoked it. There was also my favorite one, which was about uh, gender and racial stereotyping. He signed that shit and he revoked it just probably how we ended up getting the DEI because it's, it's damn near really kind of the same thing. The only difference with DEI is it includes gender fluid, not bullshit. Like I literally sat there and watched how this man pretty much took and revoked a majority of the things that Trump put into place. He revoked the shit and then when you go to his executive orders, he takes something similar, only rename it, but it'd be the same shit and he claim it as his own that he signed into law. The shit is wild. Y'all gotta check it out. Y'all gotta check the shit out. Prepare yourself, prepare yourself. But Trump already said this. It took for him to say this for a lot of people to go and do the research. But a lot of us already knew a lot of the things that he signed into to law uh, were revoked by the Biden and Harris uh, administration. So I just watched a video where a guy was like, have you seen anything out of North Carolina in the last few days? And I haven't. So I just been searched. North Carolina, hurricane, disaster, flooding, whatever. Nothing within five days. 
the last few videos I saw were five days plus, and most of them were news. No personal ones. Holy shit. Is this like Hawaii all over again? Are they like censoring the shit that's coming out of there? What, what, what the fuck? Where'd the fucking videos go? They get deleted. Because they don't want you to know the truth, man. Those people are down there suffering. And even if we try to go down there right now and help those people, they're not letting anybody in because they're trying to clear that land out so they can use it for whatever they want to use it for, their own devilish reason. American citizen, for any reason, should travel to Russia. Welcome to Russia. Welcome to Russia. Yes, I am an American that is in Russia. This is not my first time. This is my second time coming. So I don't want to hear the comments of the negativity. I am here because of the people, the culture, and I want to see for myself how things are. It's not about politics. I always say every country runs its business as usual, no matter where I go in the world, it's always business. So meanwhile, I just like to travel and experience culture and people. And as you can tell, it's busy. It is summertime. It is hot. I am sweating right now, but it is gorgeous. So. FYI, my last video was taken down because of community guidelines. I will be making more content on YouTube. And it's crazy how they're trying to get you to think that the Russians are against us. Trust me, they're not against us, the people. They're against the leaders but they want us to side with them because they their butts are in big trouble, period. I'm voting for Kamala. I've been on the fence about it for a long time, but I, I finally came to a decision. I'm voting for Kamala Harris. Can you imagine gas prices $1.50, $1.60 again? No, that that's crazy. I think we should be at least spending four or five dollars a gallon on gas and y'all remember under trump how cheap groceries were can you imagine four years of affordable groceries i mean under harris there's gonna be more than 25 million illegal immigrants coming across the border you won't have that under trump because he's gonna seal it up because he's racist and y'all remember under Trump, there was world peace. There was no wars, no World War III fixing to happen. I mean, so what if World War III is on, on the brink? I mean, at least we don't have Trump because he's a racist and a bigot. Y'all go vote for Kamala. I can't handle four more years of a successful administration under Trump. Kamala 2024. And you know what? That's basically that's basically what the people that are voting for that side sounds like. That's, that's exactly what they sound like. Now, this also concerns the election. The nation is at a crossroad. You are at a crossroad. A crossroad meaning a valley of decision. You are at a crossroad, which means you can either tip to the right or tip to the left. You make a wrong decision, you tip to the left. You make the right decision, you will tip to the right. You are at a crossroad. Number two, they will have to decide if they want God to rule their nation through a leader whom he had chosen or be led by a woman who is likened to the woman on the beast. You know, till this evening, 6.10, till 6.10 in this evening, I never had anything against Kamala Harris. I, I, I'm indifferent to anything, you know. But this word, shook me well i say this and i'm gonna leave it here what else you need to see what else do we need to see to know what decision we need to make now i'm not here to sway anybody's opinion on who they should vote for or anything like that or incite any riots all of this is just for entertainment right people
This is all for entertainment. So how much more do you need to see before you know what the right decision is? Let's just take color out of this. If it wasn't for color, just, just look at policies, right? And I always say that. Listen to your candidates carefully and choose wisely because it can mean the difference in dictatorship or presidency with democracy. Look, I just want to say that whatever decision happens, man, I appreciate all for supporting this channel, man. Uh, I don't know where we're going to be in in the next four years, man. I'm hoping that everything goes like it's supposed to and the most high put us in a position where we can have a great president and we can have a, a great start off for the 2025 year, man, because we need it. We need it. And if it don't go as planned, it's only going to get worse from here, especially feeling what we have been feeling. But things have got to change. And, you know, um, and it's and it's even getting to the point where now if you promote voting for a certain person, your videos get flagged, you get demonetized, and all these different things. Um, I don't really know which way to go with these things. You have to be careful with what you're saying on these platforms. And that's because... We as a people don't own any. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of different options out there to get the word out, right? I could start a Patreon, uh, but I won't be doing that. No, there's no need for it. I can definitely convey the message that I'm trying to convey. And you guys, I know you guys can read between the lines of the things that I'm trying to say without me getting flagged. It's just knowing a way to talk. You don't have to always be super direct with everything. Now, I'm not trying to go off topic of what I'm trying to say, but at this point, like my last video said, the thumbnail said, we definitely need a vigilante at this point. And I honestly think that Trump is that vigilante. You know? So with that being said, man, everybody should know what decision to make. Period. That's all there is to it, man. And uh, I could rant on, but I won't do that. And with that being said, like I always say, do what you will with that information. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Get in the description, follow all my social medias, and remember, challenge the argument and not the person.